Lunokhod Russian, Lunot Moonwalker, was a series of Soviet robotic lunar rovers designed to land on the Moon between 1969 and 1977. Lunokhod 1 was the first roving remote-controlled robot to land on another world. The 1969 Lunokhod 1A Lunokhod 0, Lunokhod no. 201 was destroyed during launch, the 1970 Lunokhod 1 and the 1973 Lunokhod 2 landed on the Moon, and Lunokhod 3 Lunokhod no. 205, planned for 1977 was never launched. The successful missions were in operation concurrently with the Zond and Luna series of Moon flyby, orbiter and landing missions. The Lunokhods were primarily designed to support the Soviet manned moon missions during the moon race. Instead, they were used as remote-controlled robots for exploration of the lunar surface and return its pictures after the successful Apollo manned lunar landings and cancellation of the Soviet manned moon program. The Lunokhods were transported to the lunar surface by Luna spacecraft, which were launched by Proton-K rockets. The moon lander part of the Luna spacecraft for Lunokhods was similar to the one for sample return missions. The Lunokhods were designed by Alexander Kemergian at Lavochkin. Not until the 1997 Mars Pathfinder was another remote-controlled vehicle put on an extraterrestrial body. In 2010, nearly 40 years after the 1971 loss of signal from Lunokhod 1, the NASA Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter photographed its tracks and final location, and researchers, using a telescopic pulsed laser rangefinder, detected the robot's retroreflector. <laughs> development Lunokhod's original primary mission was the backup for L-3 manned moon expeditions and for the later Zaveda lunar base. For mission safety, weeks before the manned mission on LK lander, an LKR lander in unmanned L-3 lunar expedition complex and two Lunokhod automated rovers would be sent to the moon for preliminary study of surface around LKR and LK sites, for work as radio beacons for precision landings of LKR and LK, and for visual estimate of status of them. LKR used as a reserve escape craft in case of disability to start from Moon of LK and Lunokhods used by Cosmonaut for transfer to LKR in necessity and for regular research. This manned version of Lunokhod were additionally equipped with oxygen stock with hose socket, standing pads and manual control for the Cosmonaut in front part. In mid-1968, at the facility KIP-10 or NIP-10, KIP-10 or NIP-10 in the secret village Shikolnoi Ru, Skolno Krim closed town Samferopol 28, near Samferopol, a lunodrum, lunodrum moondrome was built. It covered an area of 1 hectare 120 meters by 70 meters and was very similar to some parts of the lunar surface. It was constructed using more than 3,000 cubic meters of soil, and included 54 craters up to 16 meters in diameter and around about 160 rocks of various sizes. The whole area was surrounded with bricks, painted in gray and black. It was used to analyze problems with the Lunokhod chassis and cosmonauts' skill to control one. Closed town Samferopol 28 contained the most significant tracking facility in the Soviet Union, having the largest number of antennas, the largest area, and the most personnel of any of the Soviet tracking facilities. The facility was one of a network of ten facilities which contain Earth satellite vehicle tracking equipment and provide command, control for Soviet near-space civil and military events. Additionally, this facility supported all lunar programs of Soviet Union, in association with the Epitoria Deep Space Tracking Facility. At least four complete vehicles were constructed, with the serial numbers 201, 203, 204, and 205. Topic: <laughs> Lunokhod 201. After years of secret engineering development and training, the first Lunokhod vehicle 8L201 was launched on February 19, 1969. Within a few seconds the rocket disintegrated and the first Lunokhod was lost. The rest of the world did not learn of the rocket's valuable payload until years later. The failure resulted in the radioactive heat source, polonium-210, being spread over a large region of Russia. Lunokhod 1 After the destruction of the original Lunokhod, Soviet engineers began work immediately on another lunar vehicle. 
Lunokhod 1 vehicle 8L203 was the first of two unmanned lunar rovers successfully landed on the Moon by the Soviet Union as part of its Lunokhod program. The spacecraft which carried Lunokhod 1 was named Luna 17. Lunokhod 1 was the first roving remote-controlled robot to land on another world. Luna 17 was launched on November 10, 1970 at 14 hours 44 minutes and 1 second coordinated universal time. After reaching Earth parking orbit, the final stage of Luna 17's launching rocket fired to place it into a trajectory towards the Moon November 10, 1970 at 1454 Coordinated Universal Time. After two course correction maneuvers on November 12 and 14, it entered lunar orbit on November 15, 1970 at 2200 Coordinated Universal Time. The spacecraft soft landed on the Moon in the Sea of Rains on November 17, 1970 at 347 Coordinated Universal Time. The lander had dual ramps from which the payload, Lunokhod 1, could descend to the lunar surface. At 628 UT the rover moved down the ramps and onto the Moon. To be able to work in a vacuum a special fluoride-based lubricant was used for the rover's mechanical parts, and the electric motors, one in each wheel hub, were enclosed in pressurized containers. The rover ran during the lunar day, stopping occasionally to recharge its batteries via the solar panels. At night the rover hibernated until the next sunrise, heated by the radioisotope heater unit. Topic. Rover description Lunokhod 1 was a lunar vehicle formed of a tub-like compartment with a large convex lid on eight independently powered wheels. Its length was 2.3 meters. Lunokhod 1 was equipped with a cone-shaped antenna, a highly directional helical antenna, four television cameras, and special extendable devices to impact the lunar soil for density measurements and mechanical property tests. An X-ray spectrometer, an X-ray telescope, cosmic ray detector, and a laser device were also included. The vehicle was powered by batteries which were recharged during the lunar day by a solar cell array mounted on the underside of the lid. During the lunar nights, the lid was closed and a polonium-210 heat source kept the internal components at operating temperature. The rover stood 135 centimeters, 4 feet 5 in high and had a mass of 840 kilograms, 1850 pounds. It was about 170 centimeters, 5 feet 7 in long and 160 centimeters, 4 feet 11 in wide and had eight wheels each with an independent suspension, motor and brake. The rover had two speeds, approximately 1 and 2 kilometers per hour, 0.6 and 1.2 miles per hour. Topic. Payload The rover's payload included cameras, two TV and four panoramic telephotometers, a RIFMA X ray fluorescence spectrometer, an RT1 X ray telescope, a propodometer, pentrometer, a RV2N radiation detector, and a TL laser retroreflector. Lunokhod 2 Lunokhod 2 vehicle 8L204 was the second and more advanced of the two unmanned lunar rovers landed on the Moon by the Soviet Union as part of the Lunokhod program. The launcher put the spacecraft into Earth parking orbit on January 8, 1973, followed by a translunar injection. On January 12, 1973, Luna 21 was braked into a 90 by 100 km 56 by 62 miles lunar orbit. The Luna 21 spacecraft landed on the Moon to deploy the second Soviet lunar rover, Lunokhod 2. The primary objectives of the mission were to collect images of the lunar surface, examine ambient light levels to determine the feasibility of astronomical observations from the Moon, perform laser ranging experiments from Earth, observe solar X-rays, measure local magnetic fields, and study mechanical properties of the lunar surface material. The landing occurred on January 15, 1973 at 2335 UT in Le Monnier Crater 25.85 degrees N, 30.45 degrees E. After landing the Lunokhod 2 took TV images of the surrounding area, then rolled down a ramp to the surface at 114 UT on 16 January 1973. It then took pictures of the Luna 21 lander and landing site. 
Topic rover description Lunokhod 2 was equipped with three slow-scan television cameras, one mounted high on the rover for navigation, which could return high-resolution images at different rates, 3.2, 5.7, 10.9 or 21.1 seconds per frame not frames per second. These images were used by the five-man team of controllers on Earth who sent driving commands to the rover in real time. There were four panoramic cameras mounted on the rover. Power was supplied by a solar panel on the inside of a round hinge lid which covered the instrument bay, which would charge the batteries when open. A polonium-210 radioactive heat source was used to keep the rover warm during the long lunar nights. Scientific instruments included a soil mechanics tester, solar X-ray experiment, an astrophotometer to measure visible and ultraviolet light levels, a magnetometer deployed in front of the rover on the end of a 2.5 meters (8 feet 2 in) boom, a radiometer, a photodetector Rubin 1 for laser detection experiments, and a French-supplied laser corner reflector. Topic payload cameras three TV and four panoramic telephotometers RIFMA MX ray fluorescence spectrometer X-ray telescope propodometer pentrometer RV2 NLS radiation detector TL laser retroreflector AF3 LUV visible astrophotometer SG70A magnetometer Rubin 1 photodetector topic Lunokhod 3 Lunokhod 3 vehicle 8L205 was built for a moon landing in 1977 as Luna 25 but never flew to the moon due to lack of launchers and funding. It remains at the NPO Lavochkin Museum. Topic results During its 322 Earth days of operations, Lunokhod 1 traveled 10.5 kilometers 6 .5 miles and returned more than 20,000 TV images and 206 high-resolution panoramas. In addition, it performed 25 soil analyses with its RIFMA X-ray fluorescence spectrometer and used its pentrometer at 500 different locations. Lunokhod 2 operated for about 4 months, covered 42 kilometers 26 miles of terrain, including driving into hilly upland areas and rills. Lunokhod 2 held the record for the longest distance of surface travel of any extraterrestrial vehicle until 2014. It sent back 86 panoramic images and over 80,000 TV pictures. Many mechanical tests of the Moon's surface, laser ranging measurements, and other experiments were completed during this time. For comparison, the similarly sized NASA Mars Exploration Rovers, Spirit and Opportunity had, by their fifth anniversary in January 2009, traveled a total of 21 kilometers 13 miles and transmitted over 125,000 images. Topic Chernobyl legacy According to a French documentary TV film Tank on the Moon by Jean Afanasif, the Lunokhod design returned to limelight 15 years later due to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster on April 26, 1986. The East German-built remote-controlled bulldozers available to Soviet civil defense troops weighed dozens of tons, too heavy to operate on the remaining parts of the partially collapsed reactor building roof. Human laborers could not be employed effectively to shovel debris, since work shifts were limited to 90 second intervals due to intense ionizing radiation. Lunokhod designers were called back from retirement, and in two weeks rovers were made which used nuclear decay heat sources for internal rack climate control. Their electronic systems were already hardened to partly resist radiation. This benefit allowed the 1986 designers to quickly devise a derived vehicle type for nuclear disaster recovery work. On July 15, two rovers, called STR-1, were delivered to the Chernobyl accident zone and proved useful for clearing debris, earning awards for the designers. Due to extremely high radiation levels, both STR-1 rovers eventually failed, and human workers later named liquidators were called in. Topic. Locations and ownership Until 2010, the final location of Lunokhod 1 was uncertain by a few kilometers. Lunar laser ranging experiments had failed to detect a return signal from its retroreflector since the 1970s. On March 17, 2010, Albert Abdrakhamov found both the lander and the rover in Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Image M1141855541 RC. On April 22, Tom Murphy UCSD and Russet McMillan at the Apache Point Observatory detected the robot's retroreflector using the Apache Point Telescopic Pulsed Laser Rangefinder. Lunokhod 2 continues to be detected by lunar laser ranging experiments and its position is known to sub-meter accuracy. 
Ownership of Lunokhod 2 and the Luna 21 lander was sold by the Lavochkin Association for $68,500 in December 1993 at a Sotheby's auction in New York although the catalog incorrectly lists lot 68A as Luna 17, Lunokhod 1. The buyer was computer gaming entrepreneur and astronaut's son Richard Garriott, who is also known by the name of his gaming character Lord British. Garriott stated in a 2001 interview. I purchased Lunokhod 21 sick from the Russians. I am now the world's only private owner of an object on a foreign celestial body. Though there are international treaties that say no government shall lay claim to geography off planet Earth, I am not a government. Summarily, I claim the moon in the name of Lord British." In 2007, Garriott said he is still the owner of Lunokhod 2. See also Exploration of the Moon Google Lunar X Prize Mars Exploration Rovers Mars Pathfinder Tank on the Moon References Further reading Vinogradov, A. P., ed. 1971. Paredvizhnaya Laboratoria na Lun Lunokhod 1. Tom 1 in Russian. Moscow, Naka. Barsukov, V. L., ed. 1978. Paredvizhnaya Laboratoria na Lun Lunokhod 1. Tom 2 in Russian. Moscow, Naka. External links Media related to Lunokhod program at Wikimedia Commons Lunar and Planetary Department Moscow University Exploring the Moon 1969 a diary of significant events in Soviet lunar exploration, including those associated with the Lunokhod program Don P. Mitchell's catalog of Soviet moon images including many from the Lunokhod program Lunokhod article at Lunarpedia Tests of breadboard models of lunokhods on Munodrome near Simferopol in 1969 Remote control lunokhods and planetrovers in Russian Cruise lunokhods in Russian Details of the cameras used in the lunokhods about halfway down the page, or search the page for lunokhod. <laughs>